past 24 hours, I've realized that I think I might be obsessed with the idea of greenhouses in The Sims. I've definitely built some fake greenhouses in the past, but I don't think I realized how badly I wanted them until the kit came out yesterday. Even leading up to the kit release, like after I saw the teaser, I thought it would be cool, but I didn't really care that much. But then the kit actually came out yesterday and I built with it for the first time, and I think I've changed my mind and now I want to put a greenhouse in like every single build I ever do from now on. I think going into this, I was a little bit nervous that like the windows would be bad or the whole thing would be kind of disappointing. But actually, after building with it, I really like these items. The windows are so cool. I think this kit might be one of my favorites that we've ever gotten. And so today, I kind of want to build a little tiny house with a greenhouse in the back. I'm thinking very gardener, cottagey vibes for this one. I'm building this in Windenburg on this lot. This is actually where the free spirits live originally, but I bulldozed their house so I could build here instead. I'm thinking we'll do a greenhouse in the back and then a very small house here in the front. This lot really isn't very big, so I want the main focus to be the outside. I'm kind of thinking a shape like this for the cottage and then maybe a second floor. It's really, really small, so we kind of need the second floor just so we can fit some bedrooms. All right, I will acknowledge this house is extremely small, but this is kind of what I was thinking for the exterior. To be honest, I am extremely inspired by the flooring that came in the kit. Like this brick is half the inspiration for the build because I really want to have a super cute like little brick patio. I also want to have fences kind of around the lot, but I'm not really sure which fence to use. Let's actually think about the greenhouse for a second though, because this is like the main inspiration of the entire build. So I wanted to just do all these pretty windows around the whole thing. Maybe I'll put these windows in first and then we can go back in and like add the doors and add, you know, the different window variants and stuff. The kit also has a matching roof trim that like totally fits the whole thing. And it came with that like little wall piece. Suddenly I can't find it as I'm like scrolling through all this kit stuff. Actually, speaking of kit stuff, a lot of the stuff from the Blooming Rooms kit, like a lot of the other plants will probably work really well in here. I am looking for that like roof gable item, but for some reason I cannot find it. Isn't the default swatch like bright green or something? Here we go. Okay, the green gable. <laughs> That's all I wanted. I just wanted to put this thing here. Doesn't that look so good though? And then we can get like the matching roof trim and there's even a matching wallpaper as well. So we can use that one to paint all the walls. I am obsessed with how this looks. We can put this little stone inside. Okay, yeah, that's the whole inspiration. And then maybe we could swap out these two windows for the door. That looks so good. And we can put like beautiful little flowers and kind of cottagey landscaping around all of it. I wanted to build this in the get together world because I kind of liked the idea of using a lot of the get together color scheme. I'm wondering, does that brick color work okay together or no? <laughs> it's probably not gonna match. And that's okay. We don't need the bricks to be like perfectly matchy. It's supposed to be like an older house. I don't know if I like it being on a foundation though, to be honest. Ooh. That looks horrible on the chimney. Do any bricks look okay on the chimney? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I thought this part through. The problem with get together is that like all the brick options have the trim on the bottom and that's good. Like I, I do like the brick trim. I just also would like if I had this brick color in a plain swatch. This one might work. That has sort of similar vibes. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> we maybe did not need to have like a third shade of brick, but it's happening. How does this look with the windows added? Is that kind of cute? Oh my goodness. We have a guest who has come to help us do the build. You know, I really appreciate you standing directly on my keyboard. This is super helpful. She might sit here for a while, so if you just see like some ears, don't worry about it. I'm trying to figure out where to put the back door. The problem is the roof over here is kind of weird, so it's hard to like use the back door in this area. I guess I could do the back door kind of similar to how I did in the front. We could always make it like a separate overhang somehow. I think that looks okay. And then if I used a column or something, we can kind of try to make it look more intentional. My cat is still here, by the way. She is just laying down now, so you can't see her ears. Never mind. I spoke too soon. She stood back up. Okay. <laughs> well, we're just putting in the rest of the windows here on the main building. I'm trying to figure out where I want the patio to be and more specifically how big I want the patio to be. I guess it might be kind of nice if the patio came like pretty far back here and then we could do some like flowers around this back corner. That would give us enough space to have like some outdoor seating and everything. And then we can have like a windy little path that takes you into the greenhouse. When I say windy little path, I'm kind of thinking something
something like this. We can try and do some sort of cute terrain paint to bring us back to this pathway. And then we can do a lot of landscaping back here to like really embrace the whole like cottage vibe. The problem is I kind of want to overlap it like maybe a little bit on this patio part here, but I'm not sure if that's an absolutely terrible idea. I guess I could try and use a little bit of this, like these tiny quarter tiles, just because then we can hide a little bit more. I mean, it looks really weird on the patio, but once we get like all the terrain paint in, hopefully it'll blend in a little bit better. Can you see what I'm going for with that? I don't think I like it there. I'm okay with it on the corner over here. Landscaping makes such a huge difference so quickly. I really, really like this layout. Usually when I'm landscaping, I try to have like some kind of continuity throughout the whole thing. And so in this case, I think I'm gonna try and focus mainly on using pink flowers. I'm starting off with the big stuff. So I'm putting these big hydrangeas in. And then the last thing I'll do is go back around with some smaller plants and like in the last little remaining bits. Landscaping can be kind of hard. It's a little bit intimidating to try and figure out how to landscape a whole giant place like this. I always have the hardest time with the biggest areas, like over here. Using bushes as filler, like I mentioned, is probably my best tip for you there. I think the struggle that I have with this sort of thing is that sometimes it feels very busy to me and I kind of struggle to figure out like what's the line, like how much should I do? That's why I'm gonna try and stick to the pink flowers. Like I wanna stick to a theme and see if that'll help it maybe seem less busy. I'm also gonna add some rocks in kind of around stuff like that just as little details My cat is now laying on my hand so I cannot move it off the keyboard I think that should be okay because I got it on the right keys But I will not be able to move it without waking her so that adds an additional challenge to this build right now Should I use this big mailbox or is that too much? I like it But I feel like it might be a little bit busy in the front a smaller mailbox might seem a little bit more low-key and fitting I feel like this area is kind of weird. Maybe I could put a bird bath in there just to like fill in some empty space or something. I think I like this. I've put plants everywhere on this exterior, but I'm kind of liking how it's turning out. The last thing I need to do is put some plants right here. I just didn't really know what to put in this little section in front of the window. Maybe just these, something kind of simple. They could probably have a slightly more manicured section right there by the front. Oh, okay, bye. Thank you. I really appreciate your help. Now that the backyard is completely done, we got to figure out the floor plan of the inside because I have not thought about that at all. <laughs> I've been so focused on the greenhouse that I haven't even considered this part. It would be nice to have a basement and use that kit too, but I don't think I've got enough space for two staircases in here. I don't know if we've got enough space for one staircase in here. Like it's gonna block the doorway no matter what. Unless I put it like over here maybe. I could delete that window. Oh no. I don't know where to put the stairs. What was I thinking making a house this small? I'm not gonna use a ladder because like I cannot bring myself to use a ladder instead of a real stairs staircase. Maybe we could try and put the stairs here. If I delete the underside, it's it's like less invasive, but I also like how it looks less. All right, this is potentially a ridiculous idea, but what if the kitchen was here <laughs> in this tiny little teeny area? And then upstairs, we could potentially get two bedrooms. We can have one right here, one right here, and then, oh, the bathroom has to be an ensuite bathroom. And then there's only one bathroom in the whole house and it's attached to a bedroom. Hmm, that's not ideal. Yeah, this house is not um, it's not very big. I know that that was the plan, but in hindsight, it's even smaller than I realized. I am kind of obsessed with that fireplace, but if we did this, it's just so big. It like takes up the whole room. <laughs> oh my God. Like what rug are you supposed to use? Why did I build this? Okay, okay, this little base game rug sized up could work. And then we could have a little tiny dining section over here in the corner. This side could probably have a desk and a computer. I'm gonna change the colors, don't worry. I'm more just trying to think about layout right now and what we can physically fit in here. I mean, that's technically enough space for a kitchen. It's very small, but it is technically enough space. This house isn't even going to be cheap. It's so tiny and it's going to be expensive once we're done furnishing it. Well, let's just ignore that for a second and start working on the greenhouse because there's so many cute things we can add. For example, the flower arranging table from Seasons. I think we should probably also get a couple planter boxes outside of the greenhouse. I'm getting the feeling that this sim probably does a lot of gardening, so it wouldn't hurt to have some extra ones around. And it's actually not that big inside the greenhouse. Like we can't fit that many actual plants in there. I think the greenhouse is gonna be mostly decor, to be honest. There's actually some really cute gardening themed base game decorations as well. Like we have this super cute garden hose. I didn't even think about the bonsai tree, but that'll be great in here. We also have some like base game gardening clutter, like this little box. And then obviously the kit has a ton of gardening clutter. Maybe I could put some of these seed packets in as clutter too. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going through right now 
out and just grabbing like every single bit of clutter that I might want to put in here. And there is a lot of it. There's also like all these tables and all these shelves that I want to use. I don't really know how I'm going to organize this. Should I put the flower arranging table right here in the front? The bonsai tree can go here in the corner. Oh my god, are we going to have like literally any space for a single planter box in here? Maybe I could use the chest inside because I don't really think that's going to fit. And I would like to have at least a couple planter boxes inside because that is kind of like the whole point here. That is the entire reason that we are doing this right now. I'm kind of trying to place some random little clutter items here on this shelf. Bear with me because it's kind of weird trying to place this stuff because I have to like try and fix the slotting and everything. That's kind of what I was imagining here. I think I might put some of these little plants, like these little starters on this shelf because it's sort of like sim height so you can actually tend to them. And then maybe up high we can try and slot some extra decor, things like extra pots, some of these spray bottles, maybe even like some of these base game gardening supply items. Yeah, I think I really like that. So there's enough space for six plants in here. And then we've got a couple other planter boxes outside. How did this happen? I'm scared to put too many of these boxes because I'm worried that like it won't be functional anymore because I want to use this table. I genuinely didn't realize the greenhouse was small. It felt very big to me when I was making it. And yet somehow we don't have enough space. While we're out here, I kind of want to think about the rest of the patio decor. I think I want to get a little table. I would love to have a grill as well. Oh, we're going to need a trash can. I didn't even think about that. I've been so distracted by the greenhouse. I'm like falling apart. I don't even know what I actually need to add in anymore. Let's put the trash can in the back kind of like out of the way so I don't need to look at it. Do you think this sim has bees? I kind of love that. I think that might be enough for the backyard. I'm kind of worried that if we put too much more, it'll be kind of busy. I mean, it's already kind of busy, but it, it's small. So we don't need to fill like every inch of space. Oh my goodness. Should I switch the door to be something smaller just so I can have like a tiny bit of extra counter space? Because if we use a smaller door and put something like this one, it still matches. It's got like the right sort of vibes, but it doesn't look as good from the outside, but that's okay. It looks better from the inside and we kind of need that like extra little bit of space because this kitchen is really small. Okay, how about that? Despite the kitchen being extremely tiny, it's got a bunch of cabinets. So it feels like a little bit more of a dedicated kitchen space. We can do some really nice wood floors everywhere. And you know what else? I kind of like that it backs up to the stairs like this because it is very small. There's like one tile to walk here, but at least this part is in a full wall. Because if this was closed in, I mean, th that just seems way too small, but at least with like the half wall of the staircase, it feels like a wider open space. I'm not sure if I should put anything on the counters. I'm kind of nervous about taking up any counter space. Your Sims can cook on this corner counter and they'll use this little like end piece counter too. So I'm kind of worried about, you know, messing with their abilities to cook. Is clutter really worth it? If it could like potentially make it impossible for you to cook in here? Maybe not. Should I mount like a giant flat screen TV? <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe I could use this one. Because the mantle is quite big, so I could maybe fit this little tiny TV. Oh, great. I don't want it to float. Do you know what? Genuinely, I think that's kind of iconic. So you still have TV functionality, but it's just really old <laughs> and, and not that good. Here's a tip for trying to place pictures on the mantle. Because you see when I try and put a painting, it slots to the wall behind the TV. What you can do is delete the wall behind the TV. I just held control and redrew the wall, by the way, and then it deletes it. Or you could like individually sledgehammer it. And this way the wall is gone, so it won't try to a slot to it. And if you've got the move objects cheat on, you can like kind of sneakily place the picture in the right spot and then put the wall back. Technically, it's just floating there, but it looks like it's attached to the fireplace. So it's kind of cool because it looks like you hung a picture there. Building in The Sims often requires some kind of sneaky, weird little tricks. I usually try to point them out when I'm doing them just so that you can hopefully learn. Oh my goodness, this hallway is so small. I don't think we can put any decor up here. Maybe just like one painting. There's not enough water walking space to put any furniture here because your sims need this whole thing so they can get into the rooms. I know I said I wanted a small house, but I am feeling kind of like maybe I made it a little bit too small. Oh my gosh, we get to use the bathroom slots now. I haven't built that much since we got the new slot update, so that's kind of cool. We can put stuff on the counters. How about a little teeny tiny plant on the toilet? Oh, I like this little bathroom. It's nothing special. It's obviously very small, but oh. Is that like the staircase clipping? Oh dear, maybe I'll put some curtains too. And that leaves us with two bedrooms that I am not certain I'll be able to fit much in. We can definitely put 
a bed and um, maybe a plant inside this bedroom. <laughs> here, wait, we could probably put a full length mirror on the wall. There's like a little bit of skinny wall space right here. They've got a side table so they can have a lamp. That's really nice. And I don't think they can have anything else. <laughs> I think that this room is completely full. Because of this weird corner piece, I'm not even sure we can fit like a decent rug. Maybe one of the circle rugs, but like a lot of the bigger rugs probably won't fit that well in here. Oh, how about something like this? Cause that rug goes completely under the bed this way. Although I don't like the swatches. <laughs> maybe that one. Is that okay? One little tiny picture maybe. This room is really sad. <laughs> it's just so small. And then this room I guess could be a kid's room. I was thinking I would decorate it as a nursery, but then I realized that I don't have a bathtub. So we cannot do that. I'm trying to think about what other skill items and stuff might be useful. Cause we have a TV, we have a computer. We obviously have a lot of gardening stuff, but are there any other hobbies? Like should I put an easel and say it's a teen's room? Or should we just focus on toys and make it a kid's room? I need to learn that I don't need to put literally everything inside of every build. Like it's okay <laughs> if you don't have an easel everywhere. Like this house has enough stuff. They can have a little kids table. They can do some crafts that way. How about that? Oh, this is a great time for us to use some of the new kit stuff. At the very least, this little photo, this is actually of the roomies household, believe it or not, but like aged down to children. We could use that and say it's like the kid and their friends. I'm worried about overfilling this room. So I don't know how much decor to put, but you know what? I think that this house is probably maybe done. I will say that I did not realize just how tiny it was when I was building the box originally. I was so worried about the greenhouse that I wasn't even thinking about this, but somehow we managed to fit in two bedrooms. I don't love that the only bathroom is like through a bedroom, but that's fine. We did our best. And I do actually really like the kitchen in here. I think this is super cute. So hopefully you enjoyed this build. I really, really, really like the greenhouse. Like this is just my favorite part. I am so happy with how the windows look and all of that. It's making me want to make a sim that's gonna like use the flower arranging skill and grow all these plants. I, I just think it's quite cute. So if you want to see more from the kits, I made a video yesterday where I went through all of the items. So I can link that down below for you. And I think I'm going to do some more building with the kits tonight on stream. I've been working on building a house with a basement. So if you're curious to see some of that, my Twitch channel is also linked down below. My name is just Lil Simsy on Twitch. I'm going to stick this on the gallery. Look, you can see the greenhouse. I, well, of course you can. It's, I mean, <laughs> it's like the main part, but I really like that so much. My name is just Lil Simsy on the gallery if you're looking for it. It does use some packs, not that many packs compared to like some things that I've built, but it, it does have a handful of packs. I was gonna say I could do a quick tour, but um, there's not really that much to see. <laughs> I mean, there there's the house. That's the finished product. So I guess on that note, I will end this video right here. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh, I needed this. I had a couple meetings today that I was very anxious about, so I appreciate you letting me just sit here and live out my greenhouse dreams. I'm feeling a lot better right now.